very curious. I mean, you're from Georgetown originally, correct? I'm actually from Louisville. So. Okay. Yeah, Georgetown. You've been yes. several different places throughout your life. Kind of, kind of talk about your journey there. It all like my journey starts with skate parks and skateboarding. So my journey was mostly just like, can I crash on your couch? So you, you could say that I kind of just couch surfed throughout the United States for the most of my skate career. And you know, what's crazy is it's how skaters live. And you know, not all skaters are alcoholics and drug addicts. You know, some that's just how we got to get it to make it. You know what I mean? You got to sleep on a couple couches until you hit your big break in skateboarding. You know what I mean? Right now, talk about the whole journey with skating. And it goes back a long way for you, I know. And you know, I think I started skating in 2000. I was like 14, 15. I started to do skating. I was playing football. I was a deaf man. That's what I think is what I want to do. I've been doing this before Instagram and TikTok and IG and Facebook. You know what I mean? And you know, 2023 is is, is where I kind of got a hold of my skating. You know what I mean? So it's just one of the things that skateboarding has been a huge part of my upbringing and my success and downfall at the same time. So. Your wife and your son are over here too. They're back playing at the park. Mm -hmm. um, talk about you know meeting your wife, how that happened, and mm -hmm. and just kind of you know, where that led you. Meeting Kaylee changed my life spiritually, and I say that because I always believed in God, but I didn't want Him to be a part of my life. To say, baby, so I met this young lady. I saw what God was doing for, for her because she has her own story, her own story. And so I was always intrigued by uh, what she had going on and it led me closer to like God and Jesus and helped me with my skating and stuff. And like my wife's an inspiration to me. You know, she's a woman from the streets too. Like she grew up rough, like really rough. So to see who she is now for what I heard from her, that this is the girl that God chose for me to be with for the rest of my life, it blows both of our minds. We, we've been around the block, we've been out there, and it's amazing to have Kaylee in, uh, in my life as well. God has gave me a life, but he knows I can handle it. I know that for a fact. Like with, because you said you always believe in God, in, in, in a way that I can only describe as returning. Yes, for sure. It's, God never left me, man. Today, like, meeting people like you, God has, like, really revealed what he wants me. When I broke my leg, dude, uh, I had to get multiple surgeries. You know, one, one of the doctors, when I broke it, they said it was gonna cut off my leg. You know what I mean? So to, to be able to skate and do what I just did for you and do all that, I was like, okay, this is what you want me to do. Cause I, I don't, when I sobered up, Spence, when I sobered up, I didn't want to be a skateboarder no more. I just wanted to be a human. I wanted to be a person. I just wanted to work and, and that's it. But God, you know, it has let me be a skater to, to just keep doing what I'm doing out here and just, just skate and be a part of skateboarding and, and a, a spread skateboarding and show that like, you know, he didn't give up on me and he always will love me. So it's just one of those things that- You, you talk about, you know, not giving up and, and you know, part of, like, part of not giving up and that tenacity also goes into, you know, having your own business mm -hmm. with your CEO of Involved. So kind of talk about how you started your own business as well. Involved. I knew when I started this brand, this brand that I was like, I gotta go full throttle. This is my baby. I can't let up, you know, because like I depended on this, this before it got to where it's at. Like I needed to do this to keep sober, you know. I like my leg was broken. I was sleeping downstairs in my sister's basement, and I was like, how can I stay involved with skateboarding? So I started my company, Involved. As long as I'm skateboarding, as long as I got breath in my lung, Involved is here. Like, you know. If I gotta make one shirt a month, I'm doing it all. Uh, talk about, you know, how you got some of your sponsors on board with that. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I wanna give my sponsors a shout out. Uh, old Bones Therapy, man. They they help me through, uh, like, I'm old. So they keep me out there skating, you know, with my knees and my, my wrists. My, my, I use the socks all the time. 606 Wheels, that's out of Chicago. They're a wheel-based company that saw me through Instagram. And they've been watching me for about a year, so they put me on. Uh, Silowax, that's a Kentucky uh, break, uh, based brand that's out of uh, Korean, I can't even say it. Corinth. Corinth, Kentucky, yes. So he hooks it up with the wax. Also, uh, Intrinsic Skateboarding, that's my buddy Josh's brand. 
Uh, he, he's doing his own thing. He said intrinsic comes from involved. He said he liked what I was doing with involved so much. He started his own brand and so we're just collabing like this. So he gives me boards, I give him shirts and hoodies and stuff. And also Fat Days, the skate shop that's in Lexington, they show a lot of support to me as well. And and I got one more uh, Dark Slide grip tape. They just put me on. So it's grips for your board. They're out of California. And all my sponsors that that necessarily uh, they they show me love. They they back what I got going on. And it's 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 all for the love of skateboarding. Like with my sponsors uh, that's gonna like show support because we do want something better for Georgetown because that's where I stay at now. And it's not fair, even even this park, this park needs a, a facelift as well. You know what I mean? What's it gonna take to rebuild that park? Everybody thinks about money. And that's what I say, you know, I get money. But what really is gonna take is just like the want and the tenacity of a better uh, situation for the, the youth. You know what I mean? Like. You're older, you're 26, I'm old, I'm 38. It's for the, like like my son is four. It's for his generation that see something that's positive. And you know, what's gonna take to get that park built is is, is people want to build. People, when I when I first, uh, Spencer, when I first said I was gonna pursue this, so many people gave me so many negative, like, oh, I tried it, I done it, they don't listen to us. And I was like, what did you really do? You know what I mean? And when I went in that meeting, everybody's ears was open. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have a lot of drives, and I and that's and that's and my drive comes from not being. I don't want to be homeless again. I don't want to go back to drinking again. I don't want to go back to who I used to be. So and that's what I tell people. My drive is way deeper than most. You know what I mean? Like yes, we need money, but we also need people that are passionate about helping other people. Yeah, man. Like I think we got everything in a nutshell of what Leandre is about <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate you coming out here and you know being so open to sharing your story like